I'm Elias Bisias. I'm a teaching fellow at the University of the Aegean and a visiting professor at the Alba Graduate Business School of Athens. My topic here today is about mythologies about the press. Mythologies and actualities about the press. My title, as you can see, is Should the Media Frighten Us? Lessons Learned from Media Coverage in Cases of Emergency and Crisis. This is a question asked in a program from the University of the Aegean funded by the European Commission and it's been undertaken for the last four years. So these are some of the first results from this program that would be interesting for you probably to know and be aware of. So, what is the purpose of this study? The purpose of this study is to examine the press and web media coverage of major maritime accidents and incidents during the periods 2008 to 2012. As I already told you, this survey is already being undertaken for this year too, but these results are for the first four years. Our second question was whether to determine whether incidents that have made the headlines in the maritime press, especially the leading shipping journals and the newspapers such as Tradewinds and Lloyd's List, have also attracted the attention of the general media, the general local media, national media. Thirdly, to focus on the ways that journalists have framed these events, elaborate mainly on their attitudes towards the shipping industry. Does the media have a good or bad perception of the media of the shipping world? That is what we are asking here. The first 10 days. Our uh, academic research has allowed us to understand that the first 10, ten days after an accident or event is very, very uh, specifically important. Why is that? What you do as a shipping company for the first 10 days will go on and on and on for the rest of this incident or event. It has been analyzed from many theor theoretical researches that those first 10 days, whatever has been written for, for in big newspapers, will follow you for the rest of the e events or incidents um, coverage. So that's why we tried to research whatever happened within the first 10 days of this event that we're going, going to examine. Our starting point. The Vice President of the European Commission, Jim Callas, in an interview in Naftika Chronica, had stated that we have to differentiate between general press and specialized press. The maritime transport-related press presents a balanced and comprehensive picture. This might be different to the general press, which seems to rather focus on larger-scale events and incidents, unfortunately, often tragic disasters and accidents. Is this true? That is what we're going to ask now. The purpose of the study, we also had said, <coughs> the first thing. So, which are the events that we're going to analyze today? We have selected six events for today, six events that are more or less familiar to you. The first of all is the, the Astro Saturn arrest. This is, of course, as you understand, the, the a large amount of cocaine attached to the Astro Saturn's hull that was found by the Venezuelan Coast Guard. After questionable, if not problematic, evidence and court proceedings, both officers were sentenced to eight uh, years in jail in uh, the local prisons of Venezuela. The Maran Centaurus piracy attack, the ship had 28 crew members on board, 60 Filipinos, nine Greeks, two Ukrainians and one Romanian. The Aegean wind fire, the general cargo vessel Aegean wind, caught fire in the Caribbean Sea off the coast of Venezuela on the 25th of December of 2009. The fire resulted in the death of nine and the injury of five of the 24 member crew. The Costa Concordia, everyone knows about the Costa Concordia. Let me not elaborate more on that. The sinking of a boat of carrying illegal immigrants off the Aegean Sea, of the island of course on the Aegean Sea. The disaster led to the death and drowning of more than 60 passengers aboard all illegal immigrants. And lastly, the pirate attack on the Jaskun off the coast of Nigeria. On the 4th of August 2012, pirates attacked the Jackson. The pirate attack led to the killing of two Nigerian naval guards and the kidnapping of four nationals of, um, of the Netherlands. <coughs> Which newspapers did we try to research? We followed the five biggest newspapers in the Anglo-Saxon world, in the English language world. The Sun, the Daily Mirror from the tabloid uh, newspapers, the quality newspapers, Daily Telegraph and the Times, and one important business newspaper, the Financial Times. We tried to research the five leading papers in the world. These are the five leading papers. Procedures, we went to London, we went to the, uh, the British Library and followed one by one all newspapers during those 10 days following the major events. 
We research also the web pages of uh, every newspaper, and we also followed everything that went on in the web pages of other newspapers too. All six events, as I already told you, made front page headlines and received considerable publicity in the specialized maritime and local press. The initial research focused on articles that appeared in the general press from January 1, 2008 to December 31, 2012. Our primary examination followed, as I already told you, the 10 days rule. We only saw the first 10 days after the event. The results. We found 57 articles in the general press, none for the Aegean wind, none for the illegal immigrants that uh, drowned in the Aegean sea, none for the Astro Saturn, five on the Maran Centaurus, 50 on the Costa Concordia, two on the pirates attack in the Nigerian Delta. The data analysis. Of those 57 articles, most were news articles, just press articles. None were uh, opinions or comments. Very few were uh, opinions or comments for the other uh, incidents, and 12 in the cases of the Costa Concordia. None were editorials, special reports, or special issues. 25 articles, as one could imagine, were front page in the case of the Costa Concordia on all newspapers examined. None were front page articles in the cases of all the other incidents we examined. The tones. Different tones were found in the vast majority of the three thematic categories. As one could anticipate the Costa Concordia disaster, articles were mostly negative in, to in, in tones, both towards the company and its crew, and neutral towards the simple industry as a whole. As more factual information gathered, newspapers appeared mostly negative towards the shipping company and its crew, but not necessarily negative against the shipping industry and its key players. The few Nigerian piracy attack articles, as well as the famous Maran Centaurus uh, hijacking, focused in only on informational text, and all articles were mostly neutral. As you can understand, the general press does not follow a specific pattern or strategic and emotional stand towards the maritime industry, as Zim Kalas had stated in Naftika Chronika. We found a limited imbalance in the media's approach in favor of catastrophic and disastrous events and accidents in coastal shipping and the ferry industry. Not in the length, however, as we initially anticipated. Of course, the Costa Concordia disaster made headline news, but other catastrophic events uh, were either totally ignored by the press or received very limited attention. All framing, as anticipated, came along within the first 10 days of uh, the incidents. The media, what is important for the shipping companies and those working in the shipping community? The media's coverage of events was indifferent towards the press statement of companies or organizations involved. Whatever went out from a shipping company's press office was totally ignored by, by the, these leading newspapers. Even where there were no statements or press releases by specific companies, the press reported news according to information announced by public bodies and organizations. However, press releases by public bodies and by authorities did not always receive the anticipated coverage. Lastly, the media does not apply to the storylines developed by press offices, but on the contrary, frame news according to unspecified, personal, subjective judgments and according to the reader's anticipations. Of course, our uh, survey has its limitations. It's a first survey and we have only reported up to now 12 big accidents. What we should do now on is try to focus on what local media in each uh, uh, member state wrote about these accidents, and uh, we should, of course, consider that five out of six of these selected events uh, did not in directly involve British citizens or territory, or even seas or neighboring states of the United Kingdom. This is an important uh, fact. Our general conclusion is that what makes headline news in the maritime press does not necessarily receive interest of the same magnitude in the general press. So don't be that afraid of the press. The extremely limited reporting by the press does not show any considerable bias on the part of the authors in the reporting. The media does not hate the shipping world. The extremely uh, coastal and fair shipping, as anticipated, seemed to attract more attention. In all events examined, mixed tones and attitudes were mostly recognized. And lastly, contrary to general beliefs, sensationalism, alarm, alarmism were not reported as was spread in the survey as initially anticipated. The full report will be published by the World Maritime University's General of Maritime Affairs within the next couple of months, so one can read all our methodologies used and all our, our reports on all cases examined. 
And I would also like to thank the European Commission for funding this research for the last four years. Without European funding, we couldn't be doing all this research at the University of the Aegean. Thank you very much.